how long have central banks been buying mining shares? The whole story of central banks buying mining shares has exploded. It has been on zero hedge. It has been, been on Sprott Money, SHTF plan. It's been the subject of a video by Wealth Research Group. This is a story that Small Gold broke over a month ago. And I just did a video with Wealth Research Group and Lear Gantz, and I want to share that with you. And we'll get into some of the topics we discussed. And we discussed not only the Swiss National Bank and the Norwegian Bank buying of uh, mining shares, but also their buying of other equity securities as well. We talked about the Federal Reserve's interest rate policy, uh, how Small Gold discovered the Swiss National Bank and Norwegian Bank's uh, gold and silver mining share portfolios. Uh, what the consequences of central banks owning equities might be. I recently did a podcast with Dave over at the X-22 Spotlight where we discussed some of the kind of dystopian consequences that may result from central banks and their governments owning large swaths of corporate America and corporate Europe and wherever else they might be buying shares and the policies that they may implement. We also, Leo and I also discussed what China is doing to position itself as a dominant economic power, what the inflation rate outlook looks like for consumer prices and also for asset prices, and then what does the world look like post-financial collapse. So we've included a link to the video that you can check out, central banks buying mining shares, they plan to own the planet. You can click on that. Also, I've included links to some further reading, which is very important background to what we discussed in the recent podcast. Uh, one is, will the Federal Reserve sacrifice the dollar for the market? Um, there's a podcast link there. There is a link to the Swiss National Bank's $1 billion gold and silver mining share portfolio. Then there's some background on how the Swiss National Bank built its $1 billion mining share portfolio. They have, they did not just, I reported on it a month ago, but the Swiss National Bank did not just start buying U.S. equities or mining shares. They've been at it for a while. This link goes through how long they've been at it and what shares they owned and what's the progress in the number of shares and the value of their portfolio, both normal, equ normal equities, <laughs> U.S. equities, and also mining shares. Also, there's links to the Norwegian Central Bank's portfolio. There is the case of China's missing gold. For many of you who are concerned or not quite sure of what's what's in the Chinese uh, domain, how much gold they have, there is a link here that appeared also on Zero Hedge, a small gold article that explains where all their missing gold might be. There's also a list in this link on all the de-dollarization activities that China has engaged in over the past few years. So please check out this blog post. I'll put a link at the bottom of this video. Please also check out the video on Wealth Research Group. You can go directly to the web to the YouTube channel Wealth Research Group by clicking on that link or you can just go directly to Central Banks Buying Mining Shares they plan to own the planet which is directly linked in this blog post and also please remember to sign up for smallgold.com updates you will receive breaking news as I report it so please just fill in your email and you'll get the important stories as they come off the printing press. And also please subscribe to Smoggle. Thank you very much for listening. Talk to you tomorrow.